Well, today's video is sponsored by Dixon Dale Farms. We want to thank the good folks over there at Dixon Dale for the generous donation of all the Texas super sweet onions you sent to me and Nancy. You really got us off to a good start, so we've got all the onions we're going to need for a whole year. And we thank you for that donation. It's a great product. We've used you for many years, and we sure do recommend anybody that's wanting to plant some onions this year, go check out Dixon Dale Farms. You'll find them to be some great people to work with with a high quality product. Check you later. Well, welcome back, friends. Today's video is going to be on how to cure and store on sweet onions for long term storage. Um, me and Nancy just got through planting a stand of onions here. There are 600 onions in this row. Um, we have other videos on how to actually plant onions and grow onions. So if you haven't ever seen any of those videos, Nancy will put a link on our um, on, on the channel for you to go check out those videos on how to grow them. Uh, these are a really good variety. They're called Texas Super Sweet. We got them uh, donated by Dixondale Farms, graciously donated these farms to sponsor our video today. So we're going to let these, this row grow all until next summer, early summer. And when it's time to harvest these, we'll come out here and harvest them up. We'll get them in the drying rack and we'll dry them out and cure them. And then we'll prepare them for long-term storage over in our pantry. And I think that anybody that wants to grow onions can do the same process together. So we'll be back next summer as these things uh, are ready to harvest and we'll be back then. And um, we'll get them out of the ground together and get them over in there to long-term storage. So we'll see you back here in a few months. Well, good morning. Our Texas Super Sweets have been growing for five months since the last time I talked to you. And as you can see, they are really producing. They um, are now ready, pretty much ready to harvest. As you can see, the tops are starting to die off. A lot of times the tops will lay all the way over. If they don't, if your onions don't lay over, but you see the tops of them dying back like that, then go ahead. You know they're okay to harvest. They don't necessarily have to lay over. A lot of folks will take a board and they'll go along the rows here and they push them over and all the way down the road to force them over to direct some of that energy right back down in the bulbs. But I don't really think I need to do that because my bulbs are pretty big. And take take a look at our take a look at our onions. Here's one right here. And as you can see. It's already a good size onion. I don't, and as you can see, the tops are pretty soft. So if I was to push on that real easy, it would stay right over. But these are re basically ready to go. I'll take this one in for lunch today. <laughs> but uh, we'll be back in a couple of days and we'll go ahead and harvest these up and get them into drying racks so we can, um, we can start enjoying these, uh, these onions. We'll get them into long-term storage. So we'll be back in a couple days and we'll get these out of the ground. See you then. <laughs> well, today's harvest day on the onions. They've been growing uh, really good, so we're pulling up the onions and we're going to get them over to the uh, to the drying racks today, and we're going to get them drying. And uh, these are the uh, Texas Super Sweets. 
They're very sweet, very tasty. We've already started eating on these for the last couple of weeks, so um, they're, we've enjoyed them. So these, uh, these onions are doing great, and uh, we'll be busy today making our harvest. So let's get to it. Okay, when you get ready to cure your onions for long-term storage, uh, you get all the onions up to the racks. You can do this anywhere in your yard that has shade and it's dry and it's ventilated. If you have those three uh, components, then you should be able to cure your onions very easily. We have a, a curing rack here. If you ever wanna build one of these for yourself, we got some videos on our um, YouTube channel, Nancy can give you a link on how to build a drying rack. But we got about half the onions we had last year, so we just used two top rows on these things, so I don't have to bend over because I got a bad back. But anyway, here's how you do it. You take the onion and you lay them in here, parallel with each other, with all the greens out. And then you do the next row on top so that all the onions are always on the top of the greens and they're exposed. All we have to do is leave these out here for about five to seven days. And these tops, as you see right now, are real green and pliable. What you want is in about five days, these will all be hard, dry, and crispy. And at that point, we'll um, trim off the tops about an inch above the bulb and we'll trim off the roots because they'll be dry. And that onion will be dried out somewhat to the point where you can now put it in your long-term storage and it should last several months. The, uh, the sweet onions usually don't last as long as the other ones, but last year when we put up our Texas sweet onions, our Texas, um, I'm sorry, Texas legend, they lasted seven months. These are Texas super sweet. They're, they're basically about the same um, this is probably the equivalent of, you know, a, you know what people call a Vidalia. It's pretty close to that. Um, I think it's a pretty sweet onion. I, I think the Vidalia might be just a little bit better, but um, these are really pretty good. It's a yellow onion. So anyway, these are great cooking onions. Um, let's get these dried out and um, we'll take it to the next step. The next thing we're gonna do as we took all these great big ones and we're drying them and we saved all the little medium ones to small ones and we're fixing to trim them all up and uh, we take it up to the local soup kitchen. Folks always ask, why do you have so much onions? Do you sell them? No, we don't sell nothing here on the homestead. We give it to friends and family and those in need and um, the soup kitchen is a local soup kitchen here, we're close to where we live, and we take stuff up there periodically to give to them, and they can cook it and give meals, free meals, to folks that are just in need, folks that just are down and out. So it's a good way to help um, some people with, with your uh, garden. So if you're growing stuff in your garden and you grow extra, always try to help those that need the help. You give them a hand up and it can be a blessing. So let's get started on cleaning up the rest of these onions.
Well, that was a, a busy morning. Mm -hmm. Got all our onions harvested up. Um, we got three nice, big, huge baskets of the medium to small onions, which we're going to be donating to the local soup kitchen. Mm -hmm. And we put up three more 25-pound um, bags um, for Nancy's mama and her friend. And this is, they can take with them today and start enjoying these. And we got two of the racks, the top um, shelf and uh, both racks uh, full mm -hmm. of the really El Grandes, the real big ones. So they will take about a cure, a week to cure, and then we'll come back and take it to the next step and show you. We'll trim them down and get them over into into the uh, four-week pantry for long-term storage. So hope you had fun this morning. We'll be back in uh, about a, a week, and we'll finish up the video and show you how to uh, take these out of the rack and uh, trim them down and get them ready for the for the pantry. So we'll see you back in about a week. Yep, pretty dry, they're ready to go. <laughs> Man down. Yep. <laughs> I guess we wanted to rock and roll today, huh? Yeah. Okay. You ready to get started, Mama? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Something you really look forward to every year is trimming onions, ain't it? It's delicious. I can't. I, it's worth it. <laughs> it's worth a little investment of time and labor because, mm -hmm. boy, these last, uh, uh, this lasted last year for seven months, mm -hmm. you know, after we did this. So, as you can see, the, um, the green tops last week, those green tops were really green and flexible. As you see today, they limp noodles and they're dried out really nice and all we have to do at this point is trim off the top about an inch above the bulb and we trim off these roots see how they've dried out and at that point after we get them all trimmed down we'll take them and put them in the um, uh, pantry over there for long-term storage now these have never been wet i've never washed them they're just dry as they've been the day i pulled them out of the ground and i never will wash them um, you can brush them off a little bit if you want, but it's really not necessary because when you get ready to eat these onions, you're going to peel them anyway. But I usually kind of brush them off a little bit simply because I don't want to um, get a whole bunch of dirt inside the pantry for me to have to clean up later. So that's what we do. Uh, step up close. Let's take a, a little quick shot of how, um, how we trim them down to get them ready. Okay, this is a very simple procedure. I use these old uh, poultry shears they work just right for this kind of work and uh, these are pretty cheap you can get them anywhere online but these um, here's the top of the uh, the onion I just take it right there and snip that right off come to the bottom snip off the root and that one's ready to head on over as you can see it's still a little bit wet after you do that but that's going to dry out the rest of the way when it gets over into the pantry. So one thing that you want to remember when you, wherever you store your onions, um, first of all, don't store them with your potatoes. And that um, the onions need to have a dry space, well ventilated and dark. If you can do those three, then um, these things are gonna cure up, finish curing up and last you for several weeks, many weeks. So let's get started and get this chore done for today.
Nice big onions. take long or very many onions to make that basket heavy. Mm -hmm. Okay, set them in like this with the stem down. And we got, um, this is our first basket. We got one, two, three, four baskets to do. And what we do is we set them with the stem down like this and the root side up and the racks and or we'll lay them on the table like that. And these, this area out here is air conditioned. We keep it 75 degrees out here. So that keeps a good um, flow of ventilation going through here, which is what you need with the onions. You, you need some air movement. You don't want all those gases just sitting there. If you don't have a rack, that's all right. Just um, set, set them on a piece of plywood up on a couple of saw horses. We do that quite often as well. You just, just want to make sure they're laying somewhere flat. And you really don't want to stack them on top of each other. You want to try to keep them separate. And when you run out of space up there, we have some gigantic drawers on the bottom. We'll put them in there too. I just got them up here for now because it's um, in the direct flow of this little air condition unit right here, which blows right down there just right. Whew, that's a lot of onions. Yep, love them. Tastes good. Well, there we go. We did it, onion lady. <laughs> Got plenty of big onions up here. Oh. These are all our big onions. Uh, why don't you pull out the drawer down there and show them all the little medium to smalls. Mm -hmm. As you can see, that bottom drawer holds quite a bit. It's pretty full. <laughs> and uh, we have two more drawers just like it right here that are now empty. So as soon as these um, cure off a little bit this next week, then we'll be taking them off of this table up here and putting them down in the drawers for long-term storage. So anyway, that's how we do it. I hope you uh, enjoyed the video and I, I hope that it helps you learn a little bit on how to cure onions because as you can see, there ain't nothing to it. Mm -mm. Anyone can do this. Mm -mm. So anyway, we thank you for watching and we hope our video brought a smile to your face and it made your onion hands smell like onions. <laughs> so tell me and Nancy, see you next time always. Remember, by his hands, hands we are fed. fed. Give us, Lord, Lord our daily, daily bread. bread. Amen. Amen. Have a blessed day. And Bing Bing, you're not supposed to eat onions. That's bad for you. That's toxic to Bing Bing. Lutie.